Barcarol, the 6-8 rhythm. Sometimes I begin to lose that, that feeling of rocking, right? The rocking on the boat. It's a Venetian song. It's, an Ital it's a song of an Italian gondolier. And while, you know, I don't think Chopin's ever been to Venice, but it's been, it was a very, very popular genre of his time. In fact, you know, for example, he would assign the songs without words that were very much in the shape of a barcarolle, in the, in the form of a barcarolle by Mendelssohn. Chopin would assign these to his students quite a lot. So I know he liked, we know he liked, he liked this character, he liked this image, um, but, you know, also the key of F-sharp major, is very unusual, right? There's a Mazurka Opus 59 ends in F sharp major, and this, it's a very sunny key, very, very different, and I, he doesn't use it very much. So, of course, a very special piece. But let's start again. When, let's, let's begin again. But when you start, can you get a sense from here? Big arch. So not two things, but one big R, just like you're hugging the piano or, or the globe. Big arch of sound. generally more clear lilt to it time. Same time to connect them later. I like your color change very much, but I would have more sound. Can we have more weight? and the top C sharp, so that it's not But try to keep the left hand consistent, right? Consistently even. That you're moving it, it should be piumoso. I think it needs to have even more urgency to it. I think it's a little too, too sfogato too soon. You know, the sfogato is coming. I think this can be a little richer, a little more excited, a little more involved. I think your left hand needs to have quality. I think you need to work out the left hand and the right so that I hear the voicings and their combinations. Um, but when you get here... <laughs> hear that trill longer, and I want to hear diminuendo in the trill. So when you get to the trill, I think it's already too soft for anything to happen. Yata. <laughs> it's true that you change pedal when the trill begins. Voice two, so we okay. have the harmony here, right? Something like that. So mm -hmm. when you practice only that part, 
maybe you can feel more like harmonious progressing that way smoothly. I think there we have kind of a little different element there. We have letter to here. This is kind of all connected song, right? Like like letter to. And then after that we have left element. So maybe we can make more like light sound there, more short. make more like uh, between two notes there are a little kind of uh, relationship between two notes yes. so maybe just don't make uh, second one too loud mm. so not, not like that so can you make something like that uh, one more time Good, good, good. Very good. I like that now. So maybe when you uh, put uh, both them together now. So you just feel everything like a... Uh, like going down so uh, maybe don't uh, be careful about you make crescendo there not like that the same way like not, not like that so can you try one more time yes okay i'm gonna try yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, good. But but don't don't give up when uh, until you get here. So here. not not Christian. This is all like one line. So make the direction until there, right? Can you try? I think I came to came down too much at the end. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Not connect too much. And then legato, and then now uh, staccato. Different. Legato. This one should be a little softer. And then this one, really specially soft. Yes. Now start from here, crescendo. Not uh, loud too much from the beginning. Uh -huh. Only this part has forte. Here is a little crescendo, so now not too much. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you make more like a uh, plan from from the beginning also, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Can you try from the beginning? Yes. Yes. Thank you. 
Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> I like that. Uh, when you practice, maybe this one can be helpful a little bit. So maybe when you play the chord, you just give one energy at the same time and mm -hmm. just break the notes with one energy, like not separate too much. Here, this one goes all one energy, not not uh, uh, not cutting too much. Yeah. Thank you. So I'll do that if I want to say something when you're playing. I'll just. Um, I think it's a sad tune, you know? I don't think it needs to necessarily just be kind of... I think you should try to sing it. Connect it more and make sure it's shaped, that it sings. Okay, you know, even though it's big and powerful and the loudest we've had, it's, I think it still needs to sing. That's melodic, it's not just. So not so vertical, sing it and shape the melody. Let's try that again. writes to you There's an accent on that A sharp Ta -dum -bum. that means there's a it's also a phrase mark Ti -dum -bum, ta -dum -bum. so it's not just da -da -dum -da 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 -da. right so shape it be careful with the shape even there like this look So kind of making sure you're going a little bit forward, but very clearly. Try not to rush them. They go not to rush. It'll be better. Right staccato. If it's too fast, we cannot play staccato really. Let's go again. Free your arm a little when you it'll arm when you play that. So not so much like this, like you're playing your character, but this different arm, different kind of sound and different hand. Yes, more relaxed here. Yeah, just a gesture really. Try that last one again.
Very exciting, it's wonderful what you do. L a little bit more. I... I'd love for this to sound like a clock, like a ticking clock. Can you try that? Hear that kind of color. Just, I think it's a neat sound effect. That was excellent. I think it contains some kind of tears in it. Best thing is this wonder. Actually, this wandering. Wandering is really a theme, a core uh, element in Schubert's music. Mm -hmm. As you say, it wanders the modulation and everything. But still, I was wondering if it was possible to play there. Even in this really uh, masculine and, and, and quite direct and stern character of this motif, if it could have some like a dual underlining of that, no, I'm, I'm not stable. I don't know where I am. Uh, okay, should we, but there is some kind of a, like hint or hint to get on this back back minds, okay. which is not quite, quite so jovial is. So in that sense, I was wondering if there is a no pattern marking for the staccato, the staccato. That's why I, I addressed of this connection to the second movement, that I was thinking, now first movement is like, like sunny, and the second movement is mighty, or third movement is, uh, but I was thinking of a, a bigger unity bigger unity. So then I think it'll affect even this. Not, not really happy, but somehow a little heavier mood. A little darker, a little dar darker. And that'll keep, I think, in the, bigger, in the bigger frame, kind of a unity. I'm seeking for this. If we I have see. a different idea, please address. OK. Um, so. I understand what you're saying. Um, could you kind of could you explain to me um, how I would be able to portray that kind of suppressed mood that you're you're speaking of? Okay. Is it is it the articulation that I'm using? Tone color, sound color. Tone, okay. Yeah, and of course, everything comes from your imagination. Okay, I see. I think it really starts to explode. So it develops here. And I think it could be more mysterious. And I think this is the climax of this first chapter. And that is I crying. See. Before it, it breaks up, kind of positive. I think, it's, I think it's not happy, it's, 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 it's a cry. It's something is mingled up here emotionally. And then. So I think you can have pedal here and not this kind of lighter touch, but adding a little bit more weight. 
Really, prepare more for this break. I'll break. Right away. Here, full sound. Why, why oh. spare? Why spare? Okay. Right. Okay. Shan, shan, shan. Can you try again? Here, bum, bum. That was better, but you can give more sound. And that, that, so it is built up and it should be a, another above level, right? Okay. So it was the same level. I, I couldn't really hear how the building up. Can you okay. put a little more? Just give you one example here. So these four bars were preparation for this. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then. was responded by this. And this whole four, 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 eight bars was preparation for this. So it has a lot to reply in this four bars. So I see here four, 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 at least how many? In 12 bars, they each unit has reason to stay, the reason for existence of four next to one another. Mm -hmm. Then has it becomes another body. And then. Even though it looks the same, it's not just there. It exists. It's like uh, you exist in the connection of your family or friends, right? We all exist in the connection with others. Then I have full reason to bloom up here. I look forward to hearing you tomorrow in the exchange concert. And okay, thank uh, you so much. Yeah, this is the end of our master class session. Yes, Ina, please come and uh, let's close this together. Hi, I, I have to keep my mask on. Thank you so much. This was very, very special and deep and beautiful. And I hope that many had um, 
more involvement and uh, benefit out of this. And uh, I once again want to thank uh, Yamaha, Korea, and US for the uh, amazing cooperation to make this possible and hope that we could explore even further to, uh, to uh, have more creative ways of uh, exchange in this forum. And uh, also thank Ina to joining this with all your troops in such a difficult times. And thank you for all the efforts. Yamaha US and Yamaha Korea and our wonderful staff here at UCLA who had to uh, jump through many hoops to make this work at this very difficult time. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, and yes, I think it's just the beginning of something very special. Yeah. So see you then tomorrow you. in the concert. Thank you for all the partners that are here also. Bye.